All right, good morning, everyone. How are we this morning? Are we great? I uh, hope we are. And yeah, it's great to, it's great to see everyone here. Um, welcome back, Vina and Will. We missed you. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's stand on our feet this morning. Let's get started and welcome the presence of God this morning and welcome His holy presence. We want to come down before Him and humble our hearts and, and put everything before us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful Sunday morning, Lord Jesus, that you've gathered us here as one family again. Thank you for guiding us and protecting us throughout this week, Lord Jesus. Another week, Lord, we feel your blessing, we feel your grace to us and your mercy with us, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This morning, Lord, we want to humble our heart before you, Lord Jesus. We want to put you first. We want to put your holy kingdom, your holy presence first, Lord Jesus. You are the centre of our church this morning, Lord. You are the centre of our worship, Lord Jesus. We want to declare your goodness and your mercy through our praise, through our worship, Lord Jesus. God, our heart, Lord Jesus, so that we will just focus on you, Lord, not anything else, not any distractions. We want to put it all aside, Lord Jesus. We want to put you as the focus of our church this morning, Lord. Feed us with your spirit, Lord Jesus. Lift up our spirit, Lord, so that when we worship you, Lord, we can declare how great you are, Lord Jesus, because you are our King. You are alive, Lord Jesus, and you are alive this morning with our, in our hearts, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything, Lord Jesus. And we want to keep praising you. We want to keep glorifying you. We are ready, Lord Jesus, to welcome your holy presence in this morning, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. All right, are we ready to be praising God this morning, church? I know there's only a few of us, but, you know, God says two or three people gathers, He's here. So I believe there's more than three people this morning. So I believe that He's here this morning. Amen. Come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, music. Come on, kids, you're going to sing this song, okay? Woo. All right, we know this song.
right, church, I want to hear you singing some more because all our praise, all our voice this morning is to magnify His name. Amen. Come on, even if you don't know the song, just dance, just clap your hands. Come on, we're in His holy presence. Hallelujah, Lord. To the Lord, our God and King, His love, His love endures forever. Come on, kids, I know you know. His good and His power pains. His love endures forever. Sing praise. Sing praise. Sing praise. With a mighty hand. With a mighty hand. And now stretch up His love. praise this morning. He is with us. He is so faithful. Forever he shall be with us, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are amazing, Lord. There's nothing compared to you, Lord Jesus. We declare your mercy. We declare your power. We declare your name, Lord. We're singing because we know that you are alive. We're singing that we know that you are here. You are listening to our praise and you are hearing us, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. There's no one like you, Lord. As we enter your holy presence, Lord Jesus, let, our, let your spirit just overflow in our church, in our hearts this morning, Lord. From the kids to the youth to all the adults, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We know you're here, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, no one like you, Jesus. No one like you, Lord. Ooh, we see you pray.
we're gonna sing this new song. Who is like you, Lord? Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Matchless love and beauty. Matchless love and beauty in this world. Nothing in this world.
Let's worship him. He's worthy to be worshipped. He's worthy to be worshipped. Let's worship him. Mari kita sambadia. You are worthy to be worshipped. Name above all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. Come on, church. Let's raise your voice. Let's raise your voice and worship Him. He's worthy to be worshipped. We worship the living God. We worship the living God. Name above all names. Your name is Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. We honor you. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Terima kasih, Tuhan. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the unity. Thank you for gathering us here, Lord, in your presence, Lord, this morning. That we humble ourselves before you. That we know, Lord, that you are in the midst of us this morning, Lord. We need you, Holy Spirit. We need you this morning. Forgive our sins, our iniquities, our transgression, all our faults, all our wrongdoings, Lord. Forgive us, Father. If we have sinned against you, if we hurt you, Lord, forgive us, Lord. You are great. You are amazing, Lord. You're full of joy and full of peace, Lord. Help us, teach us to walk in your ways and to be like you, Lord. To have the humble heart, Lord. Servant's heart, Lord Jesus. Teach us, Lord. Guide us, Lord. Hide me behind the cross, Lord, that every single word that come up from my mouth is from you, Lord. Speak through me, Lord Jesus. I'm your instrument, Lord. Nothing more than that, Lord Jesus. This is your kingdom, Lord. It's all about you, Jesus. That your word, Lord, there is power, there is anointing, there is healing in your word, Lord Jesus. And we are ready to receive it this morning, Lord. And let your word be planted in the hearts, Lord, this morning. 
We are hungry for your word, Lord. Let your word empower us, Lord, with your power, with your Holy Spirit, with authority. I say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Once again, Lord, open a new revelation, Lord, and speak to every single person in this place this morning. And touch our hearts, Lord Jesus. And I pray, Lord, maybe some of us who are maybe in not feeling well or in isolation, Lord, the Spirit of God is in us. And the power and the healing is in us. Once again, Father, speak to us. And we want to hear you speaking to us, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Once again, you are great. You are amazing. You deserve the glory. You deserve the honor, Lord. Name above our name. And all who believe says, Amen. Good morning, church. Selamat um, pagi. First time to be uh, apa? preaching, sharing in this place. Um, tempat ini, it's, uh, I think it will suit everybody. Um, it's, it's nice to have a, a close and a bond. You know, we have a, like a family. We are close together. Dekat sekali, yeah. The other places, just everybody down there so far, you know, everyone's scared or something, you know. And here it's just, we are close. And I'm just so glad and happy to see semua kita bisa hadir, kita bisa di sini. Kita masih bisa menguji Tuhan and we can uh, still praise and worship Him. And minggu lalu, kembali sudah bilang, the second generation will, you know, will take over. Uh, in you know in this year 2022 and i'm so happy to um apa, be part you know as a part of body of christ in this place um uh, the theme for this year uh, is maximizing your potential and i believe all of us we need to maximize our potential kita semua harus maximize our potential di dalam Tuhan. We cannot be just coming to church and, you know, I share with the, the youth before, it's just like, um, we just can't come to church and just relax and just hear the word, you know. We, because I believe that God has given us, Tuhan memberi, giving us potential in our life. It's a matter of we're hearing it or not, or we're accepting it or not. Because potential, I believe everybody has potential. In this place, everybody has potential. And to maximize the potential that God has put in your life, my life, in everybody's life. In 2022, um, I asked the, the young, the youth, and I said to them, look, it's time now, you know? It's the waktunya. It's time that you guys have to maximize your potential. And they go, what is that? You know, what's my potential? What's potential inside me? What is it? Anything inside the church. You can do that. You can do that. You can help in Sunday school. You can sing. Do the chairs. And I'm so excited, you know, to, to hear the feedback. The feedback from the kids. They just go, yes, I'm ready. No question asked. They're just ready. They said, yes, I'm ready. And I said to them, you know, we can't, we can't, we are in a journey together, you know, kita in a, in a journey together. We are walking together as a church in one body of Christ. I said to them, I can't walk by myself without your help, without your uh, ministry, because we are one. We have to be together. If I'm just walking by myself, I'm just like, I'm disabled, you know, and people is not doing anything. And I said to them, let's do it. Let's do it together. They said, Yes. Ayo, let's go, let's do it. No matter what it is, even just, uh, you know, packing up the chairs, doing the sound system, we are doing something as a body of Christ. And this is a new place. You need the baru. 
and there's many things we can do here, you know. Pack the chairs up, I don't know, do something down there in the kitchen, helping the kitchen or something. And I think this is a good time and a good place for us where we can, you know, all of us can maximize that potential. And I believe that God has put something in your heart, in your life. And I'm ready for myself to, God to use me more and more and not just to uh, stay in, like this in this comfort zone because I don't want to stay in this comfort zone. When we stay in this uh, comfort zone, we're just stuck and then we are not stepping out, we're not reaching out, we're not maximizing our potential, we just stay in one place. It's too comfortable. And then Will said to me, and three weeks ago, he said to me, when we do outreach again? And I said, yeah, let's go. We have to do this. Realizing our potential, maximizing our potential. If your calling is to go out there to, be, to do outreach, do it. And God will enable you, will empower you. God won't say, okay, do it yourself, and then without the Holy Spirit. He will enable you. That's why when he calls you to maximize, to go out, to do outreach, 100% he will give you the capacity, the anointing, the authority. Not just, I would just want to go down there and just do my own will, my own strength. It won't become a blessing. But when God appointed us to do something with His Spirit in us, because we realize that there is potential in me, I want to do it. Put my hand up, yes. When we look at Jesus' disciples, Jesus didn't say, okay, well, I think, do you have a degree, mate? No, you don't. You know, you're just a fisherman. But I believe in you. I believe in you. There's a potential in you that you can go out and preach the gospel. What if this morning God's calling us and saying to you, me and you saying, are we ready? Are you ready? Because I want to equip you. I want to maximize your potential. Are we ready or not? I don't want to hear oh, because I'm old, you know. God can use anybody. We can't say, oh, we're, we're limited, we're stuck. No. Even small things, God can see. And God will empower you. And God will equip you. In Hebrews chapter 3, verse 7, uh, that is why the Holy Spirit, today when you hear His voice, don't harden your heart. When you hear His voice, He's calling you to maximize your potential. Don't harden your heart, as Israel did when they rebelled. What if God's calling us now, this morning? Come on, my children. It's time to wake up. It's 2022. It's calling. God's calling us in 2022. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. And I want to, you know, I want God to equip everybody in this place. Not even one person just come to church just doing nothing, but doing something. As a body of Christ, let's come back to his first love again and see the potential that God has put in your life, in my life. Potential. I'll give you an example. Maximizing our potential is similar to um, when we have a, say, I'll give you an example. We have a nice car, a Ferrari, right? It has a potential to go 300 kilometers or whatever. But when you put on neutral and you go, mm, 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 it's not maximizing the potential. It's just stuck in that same place. Yeah, kan? Ada mobil bagus, bisa jalan 300, tapi you put on neutral, you're not going anywhere. You're just going gassing, uh, the car. You can hear the sound, but it's not moving. It's not doing anything. It's not maximizing the potential of the car. Exactly the same as God is saying to us this morning, there's potential in you. There's a big potential. I don't know where it is, but you know it. There's something in there. Ask for it. Let him equip you. Ask for it. Because we don't want to be like this today when you hear his voice. Then I don't want to block it. You know, I don't want to say, oh, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready. But there's potential in you. But God, I'm not ready. Not yet, not yet, not yet. 
Banyak kita maybe like this in this situation. Not yet. I'm not ready yet. But God won't force us. Tuhan gak pasti. He won't force you. Oh, no. But it's sad, you know, to see if we, you know, God has given us. I'll give you an example. Look, Eki. Eki didn't go to music school and he can play all this. All that. That's a potential. He can play all the instruments. That is a potential given by God and he accepted it and grabbed it and he can play. But there is people who need to play with the chorus or the keys and they have to play like that. I can't play music. That's not my thing. I can't. Even if I learn, I learned before when I was in, uh, um, in high school. I was playing the guitar and then with the key and then, no, it's not for me. I can't do it. I'll get bored after 20 minutes and like, oh, poor son you. Yeah? So it's not for me, but you know, we have to grab this. You know, we have to grab our potential, man. We have to be ready. We can't harden our hearts. We don't want to be like the Israelites, you know, when they rebel and when they tested me in the world. No. We're not like them. We're different. We are new creation in Him. We are born again. But you should keep a clear mind in every situation. Don't be afraid of suffering for the Lord. Work at telling others the good news and the full carry out the mystery God has given to you. See? Full carry out the mystery God has given to us. Every single person. Not, even, not just me, but everybody. We have to grab this. You should keep a clear mind in every situation. Don't be afraid of suffering for the Lord. Maybe the question mark is maybe I'm scared, I'm not ready. I'm afraid of the suffering. Trials. We have to get through trials. When we maximize our potential, there will be stumbling blocks in front of it. You want to go to the top, there's always people maybe talking about you, putting you down, saying, you can't do it. You're not ready yet. Balloon up. You're not ready. So the, my question back to that person is, when are you ready? Because God is waiting. God is always there for us. He's waiting. He's asking the question, when are you ready, my son, my daughter? When are you ready? Because I'm waiting for you. Don't be afraid of suffering for the Lord. Work at telling others the good news and full care of the ministry God has given to you, the ministry. Keep a clear mind in every situation. That's the letdown sometimes. When we don't have a, a clear conscience, clear mind, something is blocking our mind, and we can't reach our potential that God has given to us, that's a stumbling block. Not focusing to Him. Focusing to ourselves, maybe. And then He's afraid of suffering for the Lord. We shouldn't be afraid. You know, um, when we went to, uh, we did the uh, outreach in Hurstville with uh, Will, myself and Will, and, you know, and how many times when we gave pamphlets to people and people go, I don't want it, yeah. I don't want it, don't worry about it, and then who's Jesus or whatever. Sometimes we feel discouraged maybe. Maybe we feel discouraged. We, you know, we didn't, we, you know, we, we spread the good news because there's a potential in me that God has given to me to reach out to others, to reach out to people, and then sometimes people just ignore us. And probably swear at us. And maybe, you know, we feel down. Maybe we, our mind is just, oh, I can't do this anymore. That's just a beginning. That is nothing. That's just beginning. Beginning of something that God has planted in your heart, in my heart. Be ready. And look at the amount of people who are swearing. Every time when I'm at work, people are talking about Jesus all the time. You know? And I believe that God has given me that potential to reach out to them, to speak to them about the good news. 
but it doesn't stop me, you know, being scared and then, oh, oh yeah, you're right, he's right. Continue on, man. Continue on. I want to carry out the ministry that God has given to me. I have to continue on. Life is very quick. Life is very short. We all have expiry date. And we have to be ready when God calls us. And, you know, that's what I said before. You're young. You know, we're old. We're middle age. We still can, you know, serve God. And we still can, you know, because there's potential. You know, look, everyone has potential. And I believe that everybody has potential in this place. Everybody. So it's a challenge for all of us in 2022. How can we ex- expand and maximizing our, you know, our, um, our talents and our um, abilities And the potential that God has given to us. Step out, step out. Then stay in the same place. We're in a new place now. We're in a new place here now. It's better. Step out from the old place, the old comfort zone. We want to step out now. We want to reach out now. You know, I had a discussion with Will and we said that uh, maybe we did Hurstville already uh, a couple of years ago before COVID. Maybe we want to go to the city this time and maybe help the poor. You know, pray, sit down with the poor people in uh, Central Station. There's a poor lot of poor people. We want to maximize. We want to maximize potential. We want to go out. We want to do outreach. And I said to the youth, are you ready? Some of them are not ready yet. It's okay. It's all right. It's not a discouragement. You know, we have to empower, we have to encourage everybody. You know? Maybe it's not your calling to get out there. You know? It's all right, I understand. But we must reach out and do something. Do something. We have to do something. We just have to do something. We can't stay in church the whole time, not get out there and you know, reach out to the world, reach out to the people in, in the local community. God has done so many, so much things for us already. How can we repay him back? Do not fear anything, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Be assured, I will help you. I will certainly take hold of you with righteous hand, a hand of justice, power, victory, and salvation. Do not fear. That's what I said. When we sometimes we want to move forward, we are scared. We are fear. Jangan takut. God's with us. God is with us. Amen. God is with us. Do not be afraid. Some people are afraid. God will strengthen us. Equip you. Strengthen you and me. Or maybe you, you can maximize your potential in reading the Bible, go deeper. Maybe there, maybe there's a key there. Maybe when you read and then the verses, the stories open, becomes live. Maybe God's giving you that. When you open, you, you know. Because as a second generation, I want to see uh, my kids, your kids, Serving, the, serving our Lord, serving Him, and to maximize their potential. Especially the Sunday school kids. I want to see them grow. You know, I want to see them grow, serving the Lord, playing the music, become a preacher, evangelist. Outreach down there. We pray for our kids. We have to continue on. You know, one of the churches um, in Surabaya, one of the big churches down there, they're still closed. They're still online for two years. Ada satu gereja di Surabaya masih tutup dua tahun because of COVID. Masih tutup dua tahun, big church. And I think to myself, you know, how? How about the people, people who are serving God, man? Dua tahun, two years. 
Great job, don't, don't close. Just online. How does that happen to our faith later, you know? It's two years, I can't imagine. Only, you know, we did only three months, four months. Imagine two years. Struggle. Two years. Wasted two years already. The way where you can maximize the potential on people. Two years wasted. Now it's hard to get back up again. Start again, start again, start again. We're not starting again. We are in a journey now. You know, we are in a journey. Kita jalan. We are in a journey together. Come on, walk together. Walk together as a church. Serve Him. Malayani Tuhan is the greatest thing ever. The greatest gift. Malayani Tuhan is the greatest gift. When I serve the Lord, for me, it's not enough because what He has done in my life, not enough. Not enough. I try to do more, to maximize my, my potential, you know, more and more. What else can I do? I'm not, never be satisfied. I'm not satisfied preaching. I need to do something else. What else can I do for the Lord? If I need to reach out to the people out there at work, I have to do it. I've got to push myself. Never be satisfied with your ministry. There's more things that God will put in your heart. There's more things that God can do for you. The talents, the gift that God has given to us. Take it, accept it. Come on, walk together. Walk together with Him. Walk together with Jesus Christ. Let's walk together with Him. Even Juman Abba, uh, Asha, you're doing something. Juman Asha, Dari Asha Raja, there is something. For God is something. It looks maybe small, but it's something. We are doing something. Helping, cleaning the chair, naro korsi, angkat-angkat music, or whatever. We'll do something for Him. Because I want to see, you know, before the church grows in numbers, but we have to grow ourselves. We have to maximize our potential. Well, if this church grows, banyak orang datang, we have not maximized our potential, and the people, the newcomers, they maximize themselves. We'll be left behind. If new people come and they're ready to, you know, accept Jesus and to go out and just maximize their potential, do something for the Lord, and we are stuck and we're not doing anything, the old people, we'll be left behind. Tinggalan, telat. For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Do not be fear. Do not be fear. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, Again, it talks about fear again. Because I think the stumbling block is about fear, maybe. You know? I don't know why it's, the verse is talking about fear. fear. Maybe in our life, maybe this morning, is, we can't maximize potential because of fear. I don't know. What, what fear? I have no idea what it is. Fear to move next step? Or, you know, what is it? What's hindering us? Never be satisfied with your life. There's more things greater that we can do for him. In Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20, now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we have asked or think according to the power that works in us. See, now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask. He will equip us, he will equip you and me. Do not worry. I said, do not worry. Don't worry about the fear. Do not worry. God is ready. He is always ready. Tuhan always ready. See up. The question is, are we ready or not? That's it. Maybe every morning you ask ourselves, I have to be ready. I have to be ready for Him. I have to be ready for Him. Hmm? 
Maybe I'm lacking of prayer. Maybe I'm lacking of reading the Bible. God, there's something in me. Come on, burn me. The power, according to the power that works in us. Power, there is power, there's authority. You can do all, anything, all things God given to us. Come on. Let's walk together as a church. Let's make a change. In 2022, let's make a change. Everybody make a change. I change myself. You change. Everybody change. Let's do something. Ayo kita melayani Tuhan sama-sama. Come on. As a body of Christ. Not one man show, not one man team, but together. That's how we expand our potential together. Maybe just one person, yes. But maybe as a group, as one heart, one unity, one bond, we can expand quicker, better, power, more powerful. Because we serve the living God. We serve the living God. We don't serve this God as so many gods and dead God. We serve the living God. And there is power in you and me. There is power. He's saying again, look, put this ability to work, throw yourself into your task so that everyone may notice you, your improvement and progress. See? Perhatikanlah semua itu, hiduplah di dalamnya supaya kemajuanmu. Put these abilities, your abilities to work, not to stay still, not to stop. Your ability to work, not to stop. Throw yourself into the task, the task that God has given to you and me. So that everyone may notice your improvement. That we can improve. People can see. Yes, he's maximizing his potential. If he's not, why? If we see our brothers and sisters not maximize potential, we ask the question, why? What's stopping that person from growing? If you need improvement, come on, let's let's work out together. And I believe that you can do it. We all can do it. Then stay still. Because God has given this verse already. Put these abilities to work. Abilities. It's a bit hot in here. Is it me or is it because it's aircon mati? Is the aircon off or is it on? It's a, it's a bit hot. Into your task so that everyone may notice your improvement and progress. Maybe when I notice your improvement and progress, it doesn't mean that, well, oh, because of me, you know, I'm improving now. It's because of Him. Because of Him. Because of Jesus. That's living in us. He has enabled you and me to do the task that he has given already. So be ready, be ready. Come on. Let's make a change in 2022. Maybe in a couple of months or six months, maybe I'll start asking the question to everyone. Are you, are, you know, have you maximized your potential? If not, why? Why not? Why aren't we growing? There's something in there in you that God wants to work in you. He wants to see his people maximize. In the times like this, yeah? In the times like this, we have to maximize where the churches are maybe... You know, I said to the Orana Muda, I said before, um, last week, two weeks ago, I said, I'm sad. Kenapa gereja yang di sini sudah nggak ada lagi? The church is here. There was a church here. They're gone already. Gone. I don't know what happened. They either closed down because of COVID or even got sick or I don't know. But so this Kali, it's very sad. They're gone already. I don't know where they went. They went another place or they no more. It's sad because there was a potential. You know, everyone has potential. God has given potential. COVID shouldn't stop us from coming to him. It should not stop us. We are greater. Our spirit is greater. God lives in us. Never have fear. Never be scared. I want to close with this. Marcus Milan Duatika. If you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for who for one who believes. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. 
anything is possible in Him, if you want to take it or not. Go, David, please, keyboard. is possible for one who believes everything is possible maybe some of us Bagini we know we have a potential in us ada potensi di dalam kita but we don't want to use it or maybe something is hindering us from coming to him because I believe that God He's our God, and He wants to see all His children to maximize their potential in Him. He doesn't want to see some of us who are just weary and maybe just tired, burn out, or in fear that they can't maximize their potential. God is always there for us because in that verse, He said that He can do anything, he, the one who believes. And I believe that we are all believers in this place. Kita semua orang yang percaya. God wants to work in us. He wants to use you and me for His glory and for His kingdom. we ask ourselves again Lord use me maximize my potential in you so that I can be you know witnesses for the world and for the people in my surroundings that I can be a blessing for the people in my surroundings we don't want to be a stumbling block but we want to be blessing And we want to maximize our potential in Him. Mari kita bangkit berdiri. Mari kita nyanyi lagu ini. Um, we are standing on holy ground. Ini lagu lama. Lagu tahun 70-an, I used to remember when I was in uh, in youth uh, in the 90s and this song, I, I used to remember this song and it's a lovely song. Uh, us, Anana, all the Sunday school kids, because we're going to have communion, can you call them to come in, Anana? Yeah. Uh-huh. 
standing. Can I ask all, all the Sunday school kids, my I pray for you. All the kids, Anana Kachil. Mari kita angkat tangan kita, let's lift up our hands, let's sing this song one more time. There is angels in this place, hallelujah.
Every eyes closed. Semua mata tutup. eyes closed, focusing to the Lord. God this morning dari firman Tuhan pagi ini I just want to pray if you want to put your hand up and say Lord I want to use me Lord maximize my potential in 2022 Lord lift up your hands and I will pray from here Lord this is my year 2022 use me Use me. Maximize my potential in you, Lord. If this is for you, just put your hand up and I'll pray from here. With eyes closed. And let His glory fulfill your life. Pray, Lord, the anointing. Let your anointing fall, Lord. And the people who lift up their hands, Lord, they are ready to receive, Lord. To you be used, Lord. And to maximize their potential in you, Lord. And use them and change them, Lord. In 2022, never be the same. You will never be the same. You will never be the same. She la la ba la she 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 God is ready to use you. And be ready. He's saying, be ready. This is the year to maximize your potential. Be ready to grab it. Be ready to grab it. He is not far from you and me. He's inside your heart. Be ready. Be changed. Be renewed. Be restored this year. His glory, His kingdom is in your hearts now. There's peace, there's joy. There's peace, there's joy. Use them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Maximize, Lord, maximize with your spirit, Lord. Equip them, anoint them, Lord. Wherever they go, Lord, there will be blessing. There is power. And there is healing. Terima kasih Tuhan. Use them Lord. Use them Lord. Use them Lord. Use them Lord. They are ready Lord to take on the challenge Lord. To maximize the potential in 2022. Thank you Father. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you. Terima kasih Tuhan. 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 Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you Lord. Terima kasih Tuhan, terima kasih Tuhan. Terima kasih Tuhan, terima kasih Tuhan. Thank you Lord, thank you Lord. Let's sing this song again. 
I will pray uh, for the communion. dulu boleh ambil Dapat semua, everyone got it. Ada yang belum? Sudah semua. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's lift up uh, the bread. Mari kita angkat roti. Let's lift up the bread. Open the uh, packet. kita angkat, let's lift up the bread for I receive from the Lord that which I also deliver to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke and, and said, take eat this is my body which is broken for you do this remembrance of me 
Mari kita pecah-pecah Let's pray in the name of Jesus Thank you Lord Jesus Thank you Lord Thank you Lord Jesus Thank you Lord Thank you Father Thank you Lord Mari kita makan Let's eat in the name of Jesus Well, let's take the cup. Let's lift up the cup high on our right hands. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it and remember of me. Remembrance of me. Let's give thanks. Give thanks to him. Let's give thanks. Give thanks to him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Give thanks to him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We believe, Lord. We will drink this, Lord. We are healed, Lord Jesus. No more sickness. We don't want to hear any sickness. No more Jesus. Let your blood flow in our life, Lord Jesus. There will be healing. There will be restoration in the name of Jesus. There is power. There is unity. There is love. There is joy in the name of Jesus. Terima kasih Tuhan, engkau luar biasa, engkau dahsyat. And let's drink this, mari kita minum, in the name of the Lord Jesus. to us uh, Om Ricky to pray I exalt you. Bapak kami mengucap syukur dan terima kasih Tuhan untuk pagi ini Kami mengucap syukur untuk firmanmu Kami mengucap syukur untuk tubuh dan darahmu pagi hari ini yang sudah kami terima Lambang kebenangan bagi setiap kami Tuhan Bapak hamba berdoa pagi hari ini Tuhan Engkau berkati Bapak Roe Tuhan Yang sudah menyampaikan firmanmu Engkau pakai semakin hari semakin dasar Semakin lebih lagi untuk kemilaan namamu Tuhan Berkati istri dan anak-anaknya Tuhan Berkati keluarganya Tuhan Engkau pakai untuk kemilaan namamu Hamba juga berdoa untuk setiap jemaah Tuhan Yang tidak hadir pagi hari ini Tuhan Karena sakit atau apapun Tuhan Engkau kuatkan di dalam nama Tuhan Yesus Engkau kuatkan di dalam nama Tuhan Yesus Yang sakit engkau sembuhkan di dalam nama kuasa Tuhan Yesus Di dalam kuasa nama Tuhan Yesus Sampai kita akan sembuh Di dalam nama Tuhan Yesus Kristus Nama yang ajaib Nama yang heran Nama yang penuh kuasa Nama yang mampu menyembuhkan Terima kasih Bapak Terima kasih Tuhan Yesus Terima kasih Roh Kudus yang manis Engkau pakai setiap pelayanmu Tuhan Semakin hari semakin terbeban lagi Untuk menaik menapak lebih lagi Tuhan Untuk meraih kemenangan di dalam namamu Tuhan Meraih sukacita yang lebih lagi di dalam nama Namamu Tuhan, meraih, terus meraih dan melangkah sampai pada puncak, yaitu kerajaanmu yang ajaib. Terima kasih Bapa, terima kasih Tuhan Yesus, kami akan memberikan persembahan berkati tangan kami, hati kami dan pikiran kami Tuhan. Agar apa yang kami berikan pagi hari ini, semuanya berkenan bagimu Tuhan. Terima kasih Bapa. di dalam nama Tuhan Yesus kami sudah berdoa dan mengucap syukur yang percaya katakan. Amen.
Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Okay, everybody, kita mau tutup sekarang. Um, minggu depan sama waktunya. Afik, semua kita, we like it here. Um, yeah, so next week, jangan lupa, same time, 9.30. Mari kita uh, panggil berdiri, let's all stand up. Mari kita nyanyi lagu ini. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Padma. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. We need to celebrate. Jesus! Thank you, Lord, for leading us from the beginning to the end, Lord. It was all about you, Lord Jesus. Your presence, your kingdom in this place. Terima kasih, Tuhan, for everything you have done in our life, Lord. You are always with us, Lord, that you have never left us, Lord Jesus. Your spirit is always in us, Lord. Mari kita angkat tangan kita, let's lift up our hands to heaven. Thank you, Father. I pray, Lord, for every single person in this place to maximize the potential, Lord, in 2022. They will never be the same again. They'll be greater and greater because you have equipped them with your spirit, with your Holy Spirit and your anointing. Use them, Lord, more and more for your glory, for your kingdom, Father. We love you, Lord. We love you. All we can say is thank you and we love you, Father. Terima kasih, Tuhan. Dan kita juga berdoa, Tuhan. It may be some of us yang sakit, gaina badan, Tuhan. I pray. Name above all name. I rebuke any sickness, name of Jesus.